I was really livid. We actually, Jim McBride, who's here, he and I started a project that became a company that somebody else is now running, a wonderful woman called Martha Amran, called What's On, which would allow you to do all these calculations. Um, looking back, the detail which I did, it was ridiculous. You don't really need to know all of that. Um, and I think I now have a, 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 a very interesting conclusion. I think the relationship of all these calculators, the communications around this stuff is like substitute this toothbrush for that brush or substitute the Tesla for the BMW. Or it's, mm. and, and, and we have this substitutional model, which I think is completely incorrect and is not the thing that's going to make us make the changes we need to make. And I think you made some, you hinted at what I think is now my general conclusion is if you actually want to make deep real changes, you have to change the infrastructure of your life. And what I mean by that um, is there are five to ten very important decisions that you make in your life that you make roughly on a decadal basis, and those decisions lock you into an, a behavior of energy use that you can't escape. And really that is, and you, the, the top one is probably where you live relative to where you work and play. And if you live a long way away from where you work and play, you're screwed from the start. Right. You said the second most important one is you just got to design your life to not fly internationally and all over the country all the time. That's definitely, for everyone in this room, those two things are the key things. Right. Then going down the list from there, it's the square footage of your house. Mm. Then, to less extent, which car you drive. But hopefully you solve the car problem really by problem number one is by living bicycle distance from where you mostly go. Whether or not you're a vegetarian or a meat eater, so your diet choice, it's sort of an infrastructure thing that has a big impact. Um, then you get into lesser things like what white goods you buy. Because you buy white goods and you buy your HVAC system, and that's a decadal thing. And with the one you get then for your house lasts for 10 to 20 years, so you're locked in. So I would now say we, we should, I would love to see the focus be more about this infrastructure of your life because I think it can inform people to make decisions that would make really genuine, lasting change. Um, and it would also make cities make better decisions about how they design themselves, and it would make schools make better decisions about where they locate themselves relative to the populations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a, I think it would be a healthier... I'm not saying it's the best way to look at it, but for me, it helped me communicate, I think, a message that would give you a better chance. I think one, two...